Hey what's going on guys, my name is Jotalot and welcome to another YML tutorial video. In this episode I will be showing you how to use the implanter and the reader, the RFI re uh, the RFID reader and the RFI implanter. And this is a very, very nifty YMOD uh, part that allows you to basically create special kind of almost key cards I'll call them, but in embedded into your flesh key cards. So, currently, if we walk up to here, right, this door here, this is a Wi-Mod add-on, by the way, it comes with a Wi-Mod, it's called Door. Uh, if I walk up to this door here, it will not open for me, which is a bit sad. If I go up, if I hover over this, it says RFI reader, no object found. And that's not good. So if we go over to this, which is called the implanter, and go within its beam, which is now green, and we hit the green button here, now we are implanted with a special code, and if we go near this, the door here will open, and it'll close if we're nowhere near it. And if we go near it, it should open again. And as you can see, it says, reading, A is 1, 2, 3, 4, B is 0, C is 0, and D is 0. Now how does this whole thing work? Now I am currently on a server, just to show you the multiplayer uh, kind of features of this. I'll turn all of this down so we don't hear gunshots every five seconds. And I'll show you how this works. Now the first thing you're going to need is a door. But for this demonstration purposes I will use a lamp because uh, it's basically just to show an output. So we've got this output here and when we get close to the uh, reader it'll give an output and it turns green. Now what we're going to need is an RFI reader, RFID reader, and an RFID implanter. Now these things are actually called readers and implanters, but when you hover over it says RFID. So you will need reader and an implanter, and you want to put the implanter just over here. Now I've got the distance set to 50, which is just a short little beam, because you know this is the longer it goes, the further away it can be activated, so I just keep it like this. And I set the distance, or the yeah, the distance for this here, for the reader, to 70, which is, I think, a reasonable kind of distance, so, you know, not too far, not too uh, close. And now we're going to need some chips. So, as you can see, I have four, ch uh, well, four, three gates and a chip. Now, one of these gates, this one specifically, is the door chip. So, when we're making this over here, we're not going to have that because we've got a light instead. So let's get what we need. We need gates. We need an equal gate, which is under comparison, like so, and we need a not equal gate, which is that. And we're going to need a constant value. So we go here, and the constant value should have the password or the uh, code or the value that you're going to inject yourself with. So if you want to make it super secure, you can just mash the buttons like that. But if you want to just, you know, be a bit more cautious, you want to have a number. So I'm just going to do one, two three, four for this. And actually we'll have four passwords, I'll show you once. We'll go one, two, three, four, uh, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, one, and three, four, one, two. And we're gonna put these down there. Now, we're gonna, oh yeah, this is the final thing we're gonna need is a button to activate the implanter. So we'll have one green one and one red one. And I'll show you why. Now we're going to get to the wiring phase. Now, uh, we're on episode 10, I believe. Uh, I'll have a Siri voice correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, as you can see, I keep my width at zero so you don't see those annoying little arrows, because I think you guys are smart enough to actually follow me along instead of me having to visually have something on screen. So let's wire this entire system up. So, we've got the reader here, and it's reading one, two, three, four, but we're actually going to just go over here and clear any existing passwords we have. So now if we go near this, it should not light up. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to see that this constant value has got all of our passwords. We're going to say that if the RFI reader A is equal to the password 1, so if our A value is equal to the first password, then give an output. If the RFI A is not equal to the uh, one, then I'll put a one. So it's going to be one and zero at this point in time because obviously I don't have any code. Now this here, the fire, which means just basically, you know, activate it, will be set to the green and the remove will be set to the red. This basically means that if we click on this, it will inject us. If we do this, it'll take any existing passwords out of us. And we're going to set the A to the first password. 
Now, if we click this, if we stand in the line of sight and it turns green and we hit the button, actually we're going to wire this up first. So we're just going to turn the on to the output of the equal gate. Now, actually, we don't even need a not equals gate. The not equals gate is exclusively for the door because this here has an open and closed value, so we need an open and closed option here. But if I'm not mistaken, we don't even need the not equals, so we're going to remove that and just continue on, because that should work now. Uh, yeah, cool. So now if we stand in line of sight and click the button, it will inject us with one out of four passwords. We've only set A, but you can have a maximum of four different passwords at any given time. So we've injected A with the first password, but you can rig B up to the second password, C to the uh, three, and we'll leave it at that for, actually no, we'll keep it as A for now. Now if we stand here and click the button, we've been injected. And now if we stand near this, it will turn the light on, and this will turn green as an indication. Now if we hover over it, it says reading, and then the A is one, two, three, four. Now, if we now put B, to the uh, second password, C to the third password, and D to the fourth password, and inject ourselves. Now you see that it shows all four passwords as A, B, C, and D on the reader. And you could then rig that up to different lights, for example. So uh, if we have another system, so for example, the password for this door here is one, two, three, four. So what we can do is if we uh, remove any passwords we have and then just get rid of A. B, the B password is 4321. So if we now inject ourselves, actually, if we inject ourselves with password A and password B and wire up the, sec the B on this, which means if the RFI reads the second password, then this gives an output. So we're going to go inject ourselves one more time. If we go near this, uh, this goes green, which means it's got our password, but this needs to wire back up to that. And this is not giving us a value. If A... Oh, okay, so if B is equal to the second password, then give an output. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, so you can test if the, for example, if the A is a password, and then if the B is a password, and stuff like that. So now this will give an output because we've got the password 4321. If we were to only have the 1234 password, which would look like uh, this, it will not turn on because it's reading us, uh, but we've only got the 1234. So now if we inject ourselves with this and go over to the door, the door will open up like this. Now this only will detect you if you're uh, implanted with a password. So if some other guy on the server came on and uh, tried to use the door, he wouldn't be able to because obviously it doesn't detect him. And obviously the remove will get rid of anything, so now none of these will work. So as a precaution, what I like to do is, because people on the, on this server at least, you can actually hover over these and see the passwords. So what I would recommend doing is hiding your constant value somewhere where people can't just hover over it and read it. Because then they, if you've got four passwords on here, they could just copy down all four and inject themselves with it and hope that it works and just, you know, do a bit of trial and error. But if you hide the constant value, they won't be able to actually uh, detect it. So that is um, my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find these things useful here. As always, leave a comment suggesting the next thing you want me to create. And yes, there will be a video coming out for Christmas. Probably a Wymod one at that. Or a Minecraft one. See what I'm in the mood for. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Uh, I'm stuck in here. How do I get out? Uh, what's this? Ah, uh, well, it's, I can't get out. Okay, that's okay. Crap, that was awful.